Hey everyone, I'm here with some out of this world news that's been lighting up the science community. Just recently a colossal X2, 9 class solar flare burst from the sun and it's causing quite a stir. Let's dive into what's happening. First off, what exactly is a solar flare? Imagine the sun is a giant ball of energy. Occasionally it releases intense bursts of electromagnetic radiation known as solar flares. These flares originate from sunspots on the sun's surface and are classified by their intensity. The most powerful among them, like the one we're discussing today, are labeled as X-Class. And within these classes, a number scale from 1 to 10 indicates the flare's strength, with our recent X2, 9 flare being near the top of the scale. So, where did this flare come from? It erupted from a newly numbered sunspot region called AR 3685, located on the eastern limb of the sun. This region has been under close watch by astronomers and forecasters at NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center. Now, why should we care about a burst of radiation millions of miles away? Well, solar flares can affect Earth in several ways, especially when they are accompanied by a coronal mass ejection, or CME, which this one was. Luckily, the position of AR 3685 means that the CME isn't headed directly towards Earth. This spares us from more severe impacts like those we saw with the historic geomagnetic storms this past weekend. However, the flare did cause a shortwave radio blackout over the Atlantic, Western Africa, Europe, and parts of the United States. What's next? It's a waiting game. With several sunspot regions currently visible, forecasters are keeping their eyes peeled for more activity. Solar flares and CMEs are natural phenomena, but their unpredictability and potential impacts on technology and communication make them a hot topic for scientists and tech enthusiasts alike. So, while there's no immediate danger from this particular flare, the event serves as a reminder of the dynamic and powerful nature of our closest star. It's events like these that keep the field of space weather exciting and ever relevant. Stay tuned, and I'll keep you updated with all the latest developments in this celestial drama. Thanks for watching.